Excuse me. All right, folks, I uh, hope everyone's well. Uh, happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I think I might have said that in the last video, but I'm not quite sure if I got it out yet. But anyway, happy 2020. Um, just a quick one. Um, it's just a quick tip, really. Uh, I've been doing this job long enough to know that not everything goes uh, straightforward as it, um, it should do. Um, you can do one job in one house and then go do the exact same job almost in another house and then go totally wrong. So this tip is if you hang in a gate and the post just wants to fall over. Um, now this will only work. This will only work if you've got a solid wall beside it. Um, so it's called tying in, or it's what I know it as. Um, and that is, you put a post in, and if it wants to fall over with a gate on it, you then put a wall plate or a batten on the wall next to it, um, and you put a couple of rails going across and you essentially create an extra frame, basically. And what happens then is the pressure of the gate going that way is taken off because it's been held up by the wall. Now, obviously, it'll only work if you've got a wall next to it or a solid structure. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why don't you just stick a wall plate on the wall? Well, this job um, I would have done. And I, I, was, that was, I did quote them for that. And I was quite happy to do that, and that's what I would normally do is because it's between two houses, I put a wall plate on either side, measure the, the gap, make the gates to fit. Uh, but in this case, the lady that lived there didn't want um, me bolting anything to her wall. Although, strangely enough, she didn't mind a couple of screws. So, you know, that's how I, that's what I had to work with. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't turn around and say to her, well, you know, it's only going to get done this way because it's not my house at the end of the day. Uh, you've got to keep people sweet. So the two screws that I put in were a good four inches long. Um, so the, the, it was pl plenty strong enough. So you'll see a video in a minute and I try and explain it maybe a little bit better. Um, but it's literally just you've got your 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 post, your wall plate, a couple of buttons going across. They're all fixed in together. So the, the rails are fixed to the post and the wall plate. And what it does is when the gate wants to go that way, trying to drag the post, it cannot because it's... Um, fastened to that uh, that rail and that rail is fastened to the wall plate and that's what you call I would call tying it in um, yet again I would wouldn't normally try and put a post in the ground especially on a, a drive because right next to me I don't know if you'll see it in the video which probably will there's gas and electric on that wall so the more holes you dig the more likely you are to find a cable or gas pipe or water pipe um, but yeah hopefully it helps somebody out um, it's just a quick one really just to you know, get back into it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Okay, so this is the gates that are in question. Um, so tying in is basically what it sounds. So this is the post that the, the gate hangs off. Uh, I mean, sometimes all the wood in the world won't, won't stop it from going that way, even when it's set solid. So what you do is you put a wall button on here, and fasten it to there and come across and fasten it to there. This then entails holding that up basically. Um, so yeah, that's it. So that's a set of gates I've just made. Uh, made them on site. This is, uh, I wasn't quite sure where that post was going. I knew roughly, but there we go. Yeah. Too bad, yeah, too shabby. Just need to put a clapping strip on there now, I've just missed it.